Hey, welcome to Quasi's Bell Tower, your host, Quasi. And today we're going to be making a Gothic medieval fence. So let's get to it. Okay, so for this project, what you're going to need is some skinny sticks. Now, you can get these at Walmart. I'm not sure how much. I know they're not that expensive. Um, they are five and three quarters in length and a quarter inch wide. Now, when you use these, you got to make sure that they are... Uh, flush and straight as much as possible as you can see this one's a little off right here So it's gonna throw your whole project off. So you're gonna have to make sure they're straight So I got two here that are straight already um, I've already started measuring these this one out already um, from here to here and Same thing on this edge. It is a half an inch and then every dot which there's 18 of them from here to here is a quarter inch and all the way through just a quarter inch all the way through and there should be 18 of them um you're also going to make sure that you mark a spot here at a quarter of an inch and this is going to be where you're going to use your 1 8 drill bit to drill through here so we'll do the same thing over here and we'll mark that at a quarter of an inch okay so then you're going to take a 332 drill bit and you are going to drill through all these holes here and then you use the 1 8 here and the 1 8 drill bit on that side here so I'll go through and show you how this is done and you want to try to center these as best you possibly can so when you put those dots in there make sure they're centered as best you can get them just should only have to eyeball them you don't have to get crazy and make sure they're perfectly centered you know making another line or not um, I will let you know do not use a drill bit or a, a power drill on this project um, it will not work it will just split this wood in in half every time i know i've tried so you just got to use a hand drill and just be a little patient with it and try not to stab yourself with the drill bit but if you're going slow enough you shouldn't have any problems so as you can see i got that one right here so i'll come back to you guys because i got to do all these i'll come back to you and we'll do this one and then we'll move on to drilling out the other one Okay guys, now I zoomed in a little bit more so you guys could see this. Um, I have my 18 holes. They're probably not all 100% centered and everything else, but that's what's going to make this a little more unique. I could have been a little more perfect with it if I tried, uh, but that's what happens. Uh, just to let you know, you will have a whole bunch of splinters and everything else coming off here. So you just take some uh, sandpaper. I'm just going to use some 220 grit sandpaper and sand this down. And also, while I was drilling some of these holes, even using the hand drill, you will hear the wood kind of pop and snap, and it might put a little line in it. I can't see any, but I noticed it was kind of splitting when I did some of them. But um, it hit; it's they're hitting pretty well, so I can't really see it at all. Um, so don't be too worried about that. Um, so what we'll do now after I sand that and everything else which if I had my sandpaper with me I would do it right now ah there it is so we'll just sand this down sand this side down a bit clean it out a bit you take your drill if you want and go back through it just try to open up those holes a little bit more because it is going to push some of that wood back in there when you sand it okay so I went ahead and drilled out the 1 8 tiered same thing here um, now just to let you know that the hand drill will not you cannot fit a 1 8 drill bit in this um, at all so I basically had to hold the pops or the, the skinny stick and put it where the center was and just kind of hold it there and twist it back and forth until I drilled the hole through. Um, which is kind of a pain, but it can be done. 
So what you can do here is I have this little tiny clamp and I'm going to use this to hold this together if it'll work for me now. But if not, I can hold it by hand and try to center this and make sure this is lined up the best it can be. Okay, I see that one popsicle sticks a little bit longer than the other one, but it shouldn't matter. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put drill the 1 8 drill bit through this. And then I will probably use, the, the, of course, the clamp and maybe a, well, you're going to need a 1 8 uh, dowel. And you could actually probably put that in there to help keep this centered. Or you could, what you could do is you could take a pen or something and mark each hole. And then you can just take it apart and drill it separate that way. Um, I'm going to do it this way because this is uh, it worked for me just fine this way and that and everything stays pretty much lined up and centered so I'm going to go ahead and drill these all out and then I'll be right back with you guys okay guys I think the last time I left off with you is I was drilling out the holes for uh, the top and bottom parts of the fence now I went and did a third one because I wanted to make the holes a little bit smaller which I used a 564 um, inch uh, drill bit to drill these out and this is going to be my bottom one I also put an arrow here and an arrow here to indicate um, their, which way they both need to be facing when this is on top and like that so they're going in the right direction so the holes match up now the, one of them I did they kind of split and then when I was sanding them down um, a lot of the wood just kind of fell apart and it put big huge gaps in here so I ended up redoing that with that smaller one that and it will hold the um, sandwich uh, forks or whatever you want to call these little toothpick things um, it'll hold them in there tighter um, so what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is clip these off 18 of these and clip off the ends and that's it. Uh, I'm going to make these two inches in length after I have clipped off the bottom. So I'm basically going to take those and I'm going to set the, the, the point part, the arrow part, up to the edge uh, right to where the arrow uh, starts to form. And then make a mark at the two inch mark. And then I will uh, cut each one of these, all 18 of these. At a, at a two inch length so these the, the forks here will be at a two inch length and then after that I will set them up in all in these individually so I'll get to that real quick and I'll be right back with you now I have this all set when I did this with the smaller drill bit um, it was a lot tighter to get these in the hole um, so I had to take the drill bit and try to sand them down a little bit more. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably shave the ends of these and uh, make it so they fit in there a little bit better. But I wanted them to be a tight fit uh, so they stay in there and they don't pop out on you, even though you're going to glue them. And then I also made sure that all the arrows, the best I could, were all, paint, all facing in the same direction. Um, some are probably a little bit taller than others even though I measured them up the same but it's probably the way they're sticking in through the bottom here but that's okay it's a little off but it kind of makes it a little more unique so then now then I took um, my little handsaw here which if you're interested in one of these um, I'll put a link uh, from my Amazon account uh, of how much this was and where to get it off Amazon um, and all I did is take some 1 8 dowels here and I cut them two and a quarter inches long and then all you're gonna do is put them in there and you'll have a bottom and you'll have a top we're gonna cover the top with some um, and foam insulation same thing with the pole here or you can leave the pole just the way it is that's your call I'm going to do the foam I'm going to make it look like brickwork and then I'll do a little piece on the bottom and I'll do the same thing in the other way here now from here to here is like an inch and five eighths
from there to there. I gave it a little bit of space here on the top because these are two inches in length. The pole is from here to here and then plus the length of the arrow on the top. So you got a little over two inches. Probably like more like two and a quarter or so. So that's that. Now I'm going to go cut some foam at a half an inch by half an inch, uh, basically logs or tubes, uh, square rods. And then uh, I'll show you how I do that. And then we'll cut them into individual squares. And then we'll get them set so you can put them in, the, put the dowel right through the middle of them and hold them in place. Uh, so we'll go and do that right now. We're going to cut the pillars to a half an inch by a half an inch. So I got this set up at a half an inch already so I'm just going to run this through. I'm just using a scrap piece of foam insulation. And I'm just going to turn it the other way. Run it back through. Then I got my half inch board here. Um, we said two and a quarter if I was correct. So we will cut these two two and a quarter. Oops, get this set up right. Okay, set it to a two and a quarter. Trying to keep this as flush as possible. So these three should be the same length or pretty darn close to it. So there you go. There's those. Now what we're going to do is we are going to cut them down to a one eighth inch. We'll cut, let's say, um, we're going one eighth inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go 11. I think that'll be good enough. And then what we're going to do is we will use a one inch uh, dowel and we'll sharpen the tip so it's easy to poke through these after we set it back up okay now with the pieces we have left over there they should be about over a half an inch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this uh, to a quarter of an inch I'm going to just cut it in a quarter inch, the other half will be left over, that's going to be for the top. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now the quarter inch pieces will be for the bottom part of the fence and the pieces that are a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch we are going to try and make a uh, top piece for it maybe diamond shaped we'll, we'll see what I can do. Now I went ahead and I did the first pillar of stones here. Um, I tried to center them the best I could. It was a little difficult. Um, I think a lot of these uh, 
pieces here I got mixed up so they're not from the original piece here so I kind of had to um, mix and match them uh, I kind of think it gives it a little bit more of a aging effect especially after you paint it and everything else uh, so all I did is I just took a 1 8 dowel um, and I sharpened the tip and I just try to center them the best I could and I just poke them through the best I can so basically, all I do is try to center this the best I can and just poke the first one through just a little bit, just about that much. And then I just grab another square and I just pop that one, the first one off and just kind of line them up together and just poke them through trying to make them as straight as possible. I mean, yeah, you probably could draw a little X on here and have it centered and do it that way. If that's how you want to do it, do it. I tried this several different ways um, before cutting the, the long pieces of pillar. Um, I tried like putting a hole through the center and then cutting these slices. Um, I tried it different ways. Each way did not come out the way I thought it would. Um, this way came out the best way, I guess. It's not still like 100%, but of course it's just a gothic pillar um, lined up. It's not like it's done in a factory or anything else, so it kind of gives it a little bit more um, realistic look of uh, somebody doing it by hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep lining these up and just slowly... Uh, doing this until I get a look I like before I put it on the piece that I already have set up. Okay, now I got these all pushed through. Um, there's 13 of them. I thought you were going to need 11, so you might want to make some extra cuts uh, just in case, but I think 13 is about, that's the number I used on that one, and it looks like 13 will be what you need over here. Um, I think the measurements are still the same. They might be a little different. Um, but it's kind of whatever you like, whatever looks good to you. Um, if you also want to, you could do, before you get too crazy and start putting this all together, uh, you could do the, um, the pillar like uh, Jeremy from Black Magic Craft does, so it looks like it's individual bricks in there if you wanted to. That would look cool. Um, I might just do that with this side, just to compare that side to this side, just to show you what that looks like. But I'm going to go ahead and slowly pop these off this rod and then put them on this one. Um, one thing I do want to mention is uh, when you're uh, doing this, uh, you're going to have a lot of this uh, foam insulation kind of pop off along the edges and everything else. You might have to scrape that away. Um, I had to on a few pieces. Um, and then when you put it on the dowel that is does not have a point, it is going to break those a little bit more. So be very careful putting them on and just clean off the parts that pop off so you can have a flush uh, surface when you're putting down each one. So just be careful with that. Okay, now I realized when I was doing this project, um, for some reason I thought the dowels would be a good idea. Um, and I think I was doing it like that because I wanted to um, have one fence connect to another, but I never really, I mean, I will admit it, I never really thought about how I was going to do that. Um, so if you don't really want to do the dowels here for the 1 8th, you don't have to. Uh, you probably could just um, cut these all out, stack them all up, uh, glue them together and then just stick them in there and then you could probably cut this little piece of the wood here a little bit down and then have the other fence kind of connect into it somehow um like i said i didn't really think that through um when i did the prototype this seemed to work pretty good but as i was doing this uh recording this video i realized there's probably other ways i could definitely do this um, but this is the way i did it so uh, i will admit that hey not every way i do it is a good way I'm sure you guys will probably come up with something better, but this is how I did it. So this one here, I'm just going to slide this in. I'll try to slide this in, the dowel. There we go. Just pull the dowel down. 
to pop that in. Get that in there. Okay, pop that there. Squeeze these so they're the same height. Okay. Now I can do the tops and the bottoms. Okay, so I just finished black bombing this. Um, the paint on the black bomb for the black, when I put the paint on the acrylic paint, it didn't hold too well to the plastic uh, sandwich skewer things. Um, I could put another coat on it, but I think what I'm going to do is just mix some black and some gun metal and just paint over it again and hopefully that uh, does the job. And then I will give the stone pillars some stone color paints and everything else and that'll be it. So I'll be right back to you when it's all painted up. So I got it all done and painted up. Uh, used some black and some metallic paint and try to make the metal uh, fencing look black with a little metallic look to it. Um, it looks better of course up close. Um, but it looks pretty darn good. I'm kind of happy with the brickwork and everything else. I really like this brickwork here a little bit better. Hopefully you guys can see that. I like this brickwork better. This one, eh, it didn't come out so well. My paint job on it didn't come out so well either. But overall, it was pretty good. It was pretty easy. Nice scale for it. I think that does pretty good. Uh, so what do you guys think? I hope you guys like the gothic fence that I did today. Now here are the sandwich sticks or toothpicks, whatever you want to call them. Um, they are a three and a half inch spirit arrow tips or arrow picks is what they're called. Now when I ordered these, I actually ordered 10,000 of them. I got like 10 boxes with a thousand in each. So after making this, I decided, hey, why not? I'll get a hold of the fellow crafters on YouTube and I'll ask them if they want some. So I'm gonna be sending some out to a couple of you guys. Um, I'd love to see what you guys will make with them. Uh, I'm sure the rest of the crafting community would love to see it too. So they'll be out soon enough. Um, so all I can tell you guys is please subscribe, comment, and like always, ring that like button like a hunchback. Until next time.